Yo, my ninjas, what is up? Today we're playing Sparkster on the Genesis. Oh man, I like this uh this font like right off the bat. Reminds me of um of like Buster Bust Loose. Uh, but I, I, it is Konami, so I guess it makes sense. Oh my God! Hold on, let me turn the volume down. Jesus. Oh my gosh, let me turn it on some more. God dang. Is this like uh, like a Konami like font or something? Uh, anyway, this game is 100% blind. I've never played it. I did own Sparkster on the Super Nintendo. Uh, so I did play that a lot, uh, but this is the first time that I played this one. I did—they did the thing. I didn't know that they did the thing, where the uh, the Genesis and the Super Nintendo uh, versions were like uh, totally different games, and like a subscriber had suggested this uh, a super long time ago, and I'm finally uh, getting to play it. Actually, I don't remember who it was. They might not even be subscribed anymore, but uh, I did not forget when people suggest games. If I say I'm gonna do them, I will get to them eventually. It might take like like a bajillion years. Oh man, we got a um, we got a Zelda 2 uh, thing going. Oh, I was about to say, do I have to control it? Uh, okay, so we have a sword, but that was like a better sword, I guess. You know, I haven't played Sparkster on Super Nintendo in a while. That game didn't start off with a robot fight, did it? I feel like... It didn't, did it? I don't know. But to anyway, anyway, yeah, sort of had my mind blown. Uh, when I saw that, uh... That this is a totally different game. I was like, what the heck? We gotta play it, you know? But uh, yeah, I know I'm not done with Dragon Warrior 11. Oh my god, I said I said it wrong. Dragon Quest 11? Jesus. Oh my god, and I'm also dead. Are we not supposed to win that fight? God, I hope not. Are we gonna, like, get our revenge and that's the game? Oh my gosh, got the, uh... That, uh, that Genesis thing kind of looked... I don't know, I feel like I've seen, like, that color palette on, like, uh, Genesis games. Uh, okay. We're off. Okay, we got, uh... We got jump and swing. And oh rocket uh charges up automatically. Oh that's cool. You seem to have a Oh my gosh, you can actually fly. You have like a boost and then you have like a secondary like bigger boost kind of thing. Oops, did a bomb fall on me? Oh man, is this the um is this this is the song from uh, Sp the Sparkster on Super Nintendo? I think right. It's got the Genesis uh, like sound chip song or or sound or whatever, but it's the same. It's the same song, I think, right? Okay. The downside for those of you that have played the Super Nintendo one, uh, you have like a sword beam, like right off the bat. Uh, no sword beam in this one, which I guess it's fine. I mean, it was kind of like. It did kind of make it easy to like do damage from the from the uh, from a distance. It is cool that uh, your thing charges automatically. That is pretty cool. I guess since there's not there's not uh, there's like you're uh, you're like down a button. You also don't have the L and R. You can, uh, you can do like a little side roll thing on the Super Nintendo version uh, that you're not gonna be able to do. But I guess um, you could do damage with it, but if you, um, if you like, use your rocket, you would do this, like, flail thing, and then you couldn't control yourself until you hit the ground. You could press L or R to do, like, a side roll thing, and it would, like, knock you out of it so you could regain control. This game doesn't seem to have that, so the roll is, like, not necessary for that purpose. But I guess you can't uh, attack with it, but it wasn't that strong. It wasn't, um... It wasn't a thing, like, you had other ways to attack that would do damage, too. 
So it wasn't really useful to use as an attack anyway, so it doesn't feel like a big loss. But uh, yeah, like I said, I know uh, I know I'm not done with Dragon Quest 11 yet. But uh, that's that game has taken so long, which I mean I knew that it was gonna take a long time. But there's a lot of games that are just like sitting on my list, just like not getting played because I'm like I don't want to say being held hostage. It does sort of feel like it when you're like like when you're only doing doing like one game, you do sort of feel like you're stuck with that one game until you're done with it, and then if it takes like months or whatever. Then all your other games just sit there and like get like not played or don't get played you know what i mean right so it sucks because it's like well there's probably people that like to watch rpgs but then there's people that like to watch like non-rpgs or you know games that are not gonna be 50 episodes or whatever so i figure if i uh if i do like other games also that'll give those folks something to watch too but uh, yeah i don't know i kind of I kind of, um, I don't normally talk about, like, stuff I do, like, with the channel. Not because I, like, care or it's private or anything. I really don't care, but just the main, mostly the reason is because, um, if someone is watching this in, like, a later year, I might have already changed how I do it again, you know? In which case, whatever I'm saying that I'm going to do with the channel could already be, like, outdated, you know? But uh, when I first started, there was a point where I wanted to do, like, an RPG and also, like, a non-RPG. Yeah, I know, it's crazy to think. For those of you that have been watching maybe for a while, yeah, I haven't been, like, uploading, like, every day for a while, but there was a point when I was uploading, like, two videos a day, which is, like, so crazy to, like, think about you know, uh, nowadays, you know? But I probably won't go to two videos a day, but I do think that I, w I like, I do want to go back to going, or to doing, uh two games at once just so that the folks that don't want to watch a long series uh, still have stuff that they can watch you know and just so I can like play you know I don't know like this will let me like work my way through my game list because right like right now I have so many games lined up that it's almost like overwhelming to just like look and be like oh my god I have so many games and I'm like not getting to them because I'm I'm like stuck playing this like one game you know what am I supposed to do with this I mean, and I'm saying it, like, I don't mean it like a bad thing. I mean, I do like Dragon Quest XI a lot. Like, I'm having a, oh, excuse me, I'm having a good time with it, but. But it also just feels like, um, I've just been, like, stuck on that, like, one game for, like, so long that I want to, like, play some other stuff, too, you know? So, basically, I took my, uh, my list of games and I arranged them into short games and long games. So basically, um, whenever I finish a short game, we're going to move on to the next short game. And whenever I finish a long game, we're going to move on to the next long game. And for the time being, that's how I'm going to do it. But like I said, if uh, I might change my mind at some point. I might decide to do things differently. Okay, so am I doing damage to this thing? Am I supposed to be using the sword? Am I supposed to be doing this over and over again? I'm not getting any feedback that it's actually damaging it. Oh, every time is it like every time I do that, it's it's like losing a thing. Is that supposed to be your indication? Oh, I'm unscrewing it, and it falls out or whatever. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty good song. Yeah, I really do like Genesis music. Maybe it's because I grew up with Genesis and Super Nintendo. But uh, I do like games that have that, like, Genesis sounding music, you know? Hey, we got secrets. And a secret within a secret. And, uh... And of that. What the heck is that? And another secret. Cheapers. 
It's like a double decker secret supreme. And a sword thingy. What is this? Oh, I got a flame sword now. All right, cool. Man, and another secret. Yeah, what's up with the stuff like falling out of the sky? What is this? What is happening? It's like a slot machine or something. Do you collect the gems and then you get a, a roll on the slot machine? And sometimes you get good stuff and sometimes you get the bomb. Is that what that was? I want to check the uh, top of this, uh, this place. Dude, the, the rocket is like so much better in this game. I think it's even better than... Let me see. Do you have the... Oh, you even have the, the standstill spin. I don't know. It's also... You go like further than you do in uh, Sparks from the Super Nintendo. I think the um, the movement, the left to right movement, it takes like a moment for you to get your momentum built up in this one. Whereas I think on the Super Nintendo, it was more like, it was like more, like it didn't take you a minute to like get to full walking speed or whatever. Okay, so apparently I'm not doing this right. Yeah, there we go. So that's like one uh, like minor difference, but the fact that you can like, you can actually fly with the rocket, that's like way cooler than the Super Nintendo version, as well as uh, the first one on the Genesis. And you got like the corkscrew thing. You got the, like the regular dash and then you got like the super dash. It definitely makes um, the rocket seem like not as cool in the Super Nintendo version. How come, how come uh, the Super Nintendo version like didn't have that? They're just gonna straight up let the Genesis version just be like better in that in that regard. I mean, like the whole gimmick is the rocket, so you think that that uh, they wouldn't like let one version be like way better than the other in that regard. Oh, uh, I got another one of these. Yeah, well, at least I know what to do now. Okay, so you only have you have to like attack the. Uh, you have to attack the, uh... Okay, the blinky things. It even gives you a blinky. How did I not... Why did it take you so long to realize it? Uh, okay, I was about to say, can I have platform, please? Oh, uh, God damn it. Oh, you have to do a full thing on it. God damn it, you have to do a full corkscrew. Oh, because you're actually unscrewing it, so you have to have the, you gotta be like doing the spinning one. Was I not doing the spinning one on the first one? Is that why it took me a while? Oh, you can just walk through it. I did not know that you could just walk through it. Oh. Yeah, this song is kind of nostalgic. Oh, what the hell? But uh, yeah, um, I got this. I got this. I got the well, the Super Nintendo version. Uh, is one of those like fun facts. It's like pointless. Actually, aren't all fun facts pointless? But this was one of the only times that I ever got two video games purchased for me at the same time. I got Sparkster on the Super Nintendo and Zombies Ain't My Neighbors on the Super Nintendo. I think we got it from like a KB Toys. I'm guessing they had to have been on sale. Otherwise, there's no way that my dad would have bought me two uh, two video games, you know? It was like unheard of. So is that one always gonna be on the top? Oh, can I go like this? Oh, I can go through it from the bottom. All right. Oh, God damn it. But so, yeah, I actually got it in this town. I mentioned this before, but when I was a kid, we would like visit uh, this town 
to visit my grandma. And we would visit as a when I was a teenager also. And then I ended up living in this town. So this is the town that I was in. When I, when I got it. But at the time I didn't know. I didn't know I was going to end up living here. Oh, jeez. You do, you do sort of get locked. Oh, what the heck? Oh, when you do the sword swing, you can't jump. You are locked into that animation for a moment. This is actually kind of cool. We got like the, the rendition of the first song. It's like kind of different. Oh, you do like a down slash when you jump. Is there any reason to destroy this? So what do the things do when they... When they grow on you or whatever? Is it going to be... Are we going to find out that the boss is... Uh, oh, God. Oh, they just... Uh, they, they like detonate or whatever if you don't... If you don't like blow them up or get rid of them or whatever. Are we going to find out that the boss is the... Uh, the one that's like dropping them on us? How do you get him off? You just like shake the control stick, I guess. The control stick, the D-pad, jeez. You know, it's funny, like growing up, you'd always hear, you'd always hear it called a D-pad. And for like forever, I totally forgot for like, I don't know, 10 years that the D in D-pad stands for direction, directional pad. You just call it a D-pad. Like somehow I just like totally forgotten that the D stands for directional. Okay, let's see if I can actually get some use out of this flame sword. It kind of reminds me of one of the icons of the, uh, of like the weapon in, um, in Gunstar Heroes. Which we are going to do Gun Gunstar Heroes at some point in the future. Oh my gosh. Creepy face in the tree. Or in the vine or whatever. Oh my gosh. We rocketed it for so, for so like far. See if this was on the Super Nintendo. I could just stand back here and hit him. Oh, so he blocks with his blocky hands. So you gotta like look for an opportunity. Okay, I don't know why that didn't count. Okay, hopefully I can. Hopefully I got this. Also have not used the Genesis uh, emulator in a while. I gotta remember to like not F up the save and the load or whatever. It is nice how on this one, the uh, the save and the load buttons are like not next to each other. I wonder if I can go up through his arms or whatever. I wonder if I can hit him like this. Oh, you can. Okay, I guess you gotta stand in the right spot. Hey, got he. I don't know if he's all the way dead. Oh, those probably do damage. You probably have to dodge him. All right, cool. Okay, just had to check. They could have put like a one-up or something up there. Man, that wasn't even like the all the way boss or whatever. The final uh, boss of the area. Like we're still going. Is this still, this is all still the first level technically, right? We're going to get the little like, like level complete onto the next level thing when we beat a level, right? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, shoot. Thought I wasn't going to let me go backwards. Is this going to be real boss? Sometimes this game does have just like little areas where you gotta, where you gotta kill some dudes. Or not this game, but you know what I mean.
Yeah, I'll probably play the Super Nintendo one at some point. I don't know. I played it so much. I think I was like, I don't know, 15, 16 when I played it. But like, I played it like so much. I got sort of like burned out from it. So it's not going to be my most enthusiastic Let's Play when I do play it. But but I did play it a lot. I feel like it. Like I feel compelled to play it. Like it is part of like my history of like my you know video game career. And this was uh this was like like this was like uh in my like I said I think I was like 15 or 16 so it was it was towards like the tail end of uh of when I was like capable of like feeling like nostalgia, you know. You do get to a certain age and then nostalgia like kind of stops being a thing. Nostalgia for me like your childhood, you know. And Sparkster on the Super Nintendo was kind of like on the tail end of it. So because it does have nostalgia, I do feel like I should play it. But like I said, I I played it like a lot. To where I got like burned out from it. So so I'm not going to be like creaming my jeans for it. Boy, have I not hit this, uh, hit this guy once? I almost had hit this guy. And I am dead, but I did hit him once. Uh, how far back am I? Oh my god, am I all the way back? Was there no checkpoint? I'm all the way back. There was no checkpoint. Okay, well, the use of save states is going to start occurring sooner than I had anticipated. If they're going to give me no, uh, no checkpoint, then yeah, we're going to use save states, because that's how you get through Let's Plays in reasonable amounts of time. Dude, that's so far back to send you. Man, I'm all, like, talking about how much I'm liking this game and stuff. But, like, no checkpoint, especially, like, right for a boss. Like, god dang. Like, that was a long way to go back. Oh my god, I gotta fight this guy again. Jesus. Okay, let's uh, let's meet back at that other guy. I'm gonna save state before that boss. Yeah, I'm just gonna save... I'm just gonna, like... I'm not gonna replay... Like, it's a long-ass level to have to play every time you die. I'm not playing the whole level over and over again. That's too long, man. I don't mind replaying stuff, but it's if it's gonna be, like, like replay that much if you die one time... Like, that's how far it should send you back if you lose, like, all your lives and have to use a continue... Okay, I just got an apple from the thing. I don't know if this is enough life to win. But, oh my god, dude, I couldn't... All of a sudden, I couldn't beat the, uh, the other guy. So, I, I, like, I died to him, like, three times or something like that. I died over and over again. I couldn't freaking beat him. Uh, I did get a one-up from, uh, from the slot machine thing. Apparently, when you get ten jewels, you get a... Uh, then the slot machine, like, activates. It's kind of cool, actually. It gives you, like, a random thing. So basically, you just gotta wait for him to uh, to stop spinning, and then you can hit him. Was I overcomplicating it last time? He does give off apples sometimes, which is nice. I'm guessing that later in the game, like the boss is giving you health, is gonna like stop. Like, there's no way that they're gonna just have that be a thing for the whole game. You know, one of the downsides of having this super long. Um, like rocket boost thing is that sometimes you go like too far and then you end up like like ricocheting like all the way across the screen like back into them i kept running into that uh on that tree guy or that vine guy or whatever i kept uh like rocketing like to like try to hit the face and then i would like i would like bounce all the way to the left and back to the right again also yeah i'm gonna turn into a save state machine because i don't know how like i'm assuming it'll put me here if i die Okay, let's go ahead and call it here. I know it's kind of like a long episode uh, for like the first episode or whatever, but it's fine. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and also drop a like and a comment. And if you'd like to support this channel, feel free to check out my backlog of like previous playlists that I did and see if I played something that you'd like to watch and feel free to check that out. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have yourselves a great day. Bye.